All right, let's talk about that three letter word that you've been hearing over and over again, MCP. Put simply, MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. Even though Anthropic, the creators of Claude, came up with it, it's a standard that almost every single AI provider has now adopted. You can think of it as a standardized, specialized language that allows AI assistants, Claude, ChatGPT, whatever else may come in the future, to interact with systems, maybe like your application. So instead of setting up an API that you hope these AI assistants then know how to use in the proper way, you have this standardized protocol that tells these AI assistants, yes, this is how you are supposed to use my website, my application, my fill in the blank. And so the package we're looking at today is Laravel's MCP package. Laravel MCP sets everything up for you and gives you the tools to create the things that an MCP needs. When ChatGPT or Claude is talking to your application via MCP, it expects things like tools, it expects prompts, and it expects resources. Now, your MCP server does not need to have every single one of these pieces, but Laravel MCP enables you to set all this up in a clean and easy way if you need it. Now, you might be thinking, is MCP actually useful? Do I need it? Do I even use it? Well, you might use it without knowing. If you use anything that is a connector with Within Claude or anything that is an app within ChatGPT, you are using MCP uh, under the hood. Both connectors as well as apps use the MCP, the model context protocol, in order to chat and interact with the applications on your behalf while you stay in that AI assistant, Claude or ChatGPT. But if you have not interacted with an application via MCP, then here's a great application to get you started to see how MCP might be useful. This is Locka MCP. It's a demo application built on top of Laravel and Laravel MCP that enables you to use MCP. Locket.laravel.cloud. After logging in, Locket MCP's demo application gives you the choice to be able to use the MCP within something like Cursor, VS Code, Claude Code, or any other agent, like Claude Web, for example, using it and setting it up as a custom connector. If we were to click on this Add to Cursor button, which is one of the easier ways to get started with something like MCP, well, then it's automatically going to open up this install MCP server action. And then once installed, it's going to ask us to authenticate. We're going to connect, and this whole authentication flow is actually enabled and provided within uh, Laravel MCP. So you don't have to do anything else. This just comes out of the box. Using Laravel Sanctum in order to authorize as your user this MCP server. And look at that, we have four tools, one prompt and one resource enabled. You can see here we have a get recent link, which is a tool, get trending links, add link, get recent statuses, summarize link, and then this last added link. Now we'll run one of the prompts that comes on the locket.laravel.cloud site to see how this actually works, but then we'll take a look at what those tools, prompts, and resources actually are so that you can know how and what ones you actually need to enable for your application. We're gonna use this show me the locket feed because that'll be pretty fun. It should ask the MCP, User wants to run MCP tool, and so that's what it's doing. It's getting recent statuses, and we're going to set this to allow list, so that way it can run it. And there we go. We have the most recent locket links that Cursor just gave to us. Now, maybe we'll add one, too, because we do have permissions, because we gave the authorization level to our application. We're going to add this link to my locket. We're going to run that tool, and it said it worked. It's done. So if we were to take a look back at locket, look at that. We just have a new link that was added to Locket and is now visible on the web, but we did this within our AI agent, specifically Cursor. In the next couple of minutes, I wanna give you a brief overview of what tools are within MCP, prompts and resources are, so that you can know what specific ones might fit best for your application when you enable MCP. And the better question is, how would your users want to use AI assistance to interact with your application? So Laravel MCP gives you the ability to create tools, prompts and resources, which is what MCP, that model context protocol expects. Using the relevant PHP artisan commands, you can easily create those in your application once Laravel MCP is installed. PHP artisan make, and then you have the ability to make an MCP resource, MCP server, an MCP tool, or an MCP 
prompt. First off, prompts. Prompts are a way to tell the AI assistant, here is a good overview. Think of this as like a system prompt for how to do something within your application. For Laravel Locket, the one prompt that we have is summarize links. In the description, it says, we're going to generate a comprehensive AI prompt to analyze and summarize web content with actionable insights, thought-provoking questions, and suggestions for further exploration. And then here's the prompt. To be able to say, AI, this is how you should use and use this prompt in order to then interact with my tools. Each prompt, resource, and tool allows you to have specific arguments as well as a detailed description that tells the AI systems this is when it should use this and this is how it should use this based off of how the user is actually prompting the AI assistant in the first place. You can think of resources as something that it is retrieving from your application's database. In this case, we have a last added link so that this specific resource is available to the AI system. So if the user asks something like, hey, uh, what was one of the most recent links that was added to Locket? Well, we have a description that says this is the user's most recently added link with any attached notes. So if they are prompting the AI assistant, the user is, if they're prompting it to do anything related to this, it's going to use this resource. We have a handle function that says, this is exactly what it should do within our application. In this case, if the user is authenticated, we're gonna grab the last link and return it to the user. And then lastly, tools. I think these are the bread and butter of any MCP server. So where tools do something, they interact with the database, like adding a link or retrieving recent links, getting recent statuses or get trending links. And each one of these has its own public constructor, it has its own handle method, as well as a detailed description to let the AI assistant know when and how to use something like this. Each one of these can be thought of in a different way then resources, where resources are viewing the information that your application has, tools are then might be doing something with it. And within Laravel's MCP package, the key difference is this schema, because a tool allows you to have a specific schema, an input schema that you might then request or add or manipulate data within your application. Here, if a user asks, hey, give me the top 25 recent links, well, we know that the schema requests a specific limit. The AI assistant then knows, well, I can't actually return anything more than 25. So if it asks, if the user asks for 100, we're only going to return 25. Again, this is different than the resource of last added link because this isn't requesting a whole bunch of different links. This is just requesting the last one. It's always going to be the same thing. Without going too much further into the weeds, tools, resources, and prompts are going to be your bread and butter for enabling MCP within your application. But there's one more thing that I want you to get. Laravel MCP basically has two different ways you can enable an MCP server via the web to say that this is a public facing MCP, even if you need authorization to be able to access it or a local server. Laravel Boost, for example, is built on Laravel MCP so that you can have those tools, resources, and prompts, but enabled within your local development environment. All of the packages that we've been able to showcase throughout this series over the past couple of weeks has been Laravel giving us things out of the box in order to enable things and make things easier for when we create them within our own application. And Laravel MCP is no different. It enables you to do all the hard work for setting up the things that an AI assistant requests, uh, things like tools, resources, prompts, and then it gives you the ability to just then kickstart that MCP server, have it out into the web for everyone to see who needs to access your application's MCP, and then that's it. There's nothing more that you need to do. So if you have been wanting to add MCP to your application, check out Laravel MCP. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see more information about MCP, maybe even how something like Boost would be made if you're looking to kickstart your own development environment in a similar way. So start shipping some MCP enabled applications.